Thanks for tuning in to today's video about how to help yourself if you have kidney issues. If you want to know more about me, check out our other videos, website, you can learn more about why I'm so passionate about kidney issues. So this article was a nice article. It was published in the Renal and Urology News, March 24, 2023. And it was titled, Early Nutrition Care in CKD Preserves Kidney Function, written by Lindsay Zerker, that's a dietitian. So a really nice article, it's a good article to see, and I'm gonna go over it, and what it means for you, how it can help yourself. So, uh, she writes about how this shifting uh, thought, thought process around you know, actually being aggressive with kidney care, trying to do things in earlier stages to, to where it's at, where it's more of just, let's just deal with complications, but we're shifting and we're moving, and there's some areas to cover with great research. So she talks about accumulating evidence shows that a low protein diet, individualized mineral recommendations, support of gut health, ensure an adequate vitamin intake and help preserve kidney function and reduce the risk of progression. Yes, absolutely. These are some things that you can do. There's a lot more things you can do besides what she mentions here, but this is a great start to see in a uh, conventional publication was really good. So let's get into it. So she talks about a low protein diet. This is the big thing in the last couple of years with kidney issues because every major medical organization that deals with kidneys, diets, has recommended it. It's not the number one end-all be-all diet for everybody. It's if you're a candidate. If you're someone with diabetic issues, you might not be a candidate. You might have to do a moderate protein diet, maybe preferably more plant-based. So a low protein diet can uh, increase GFR. These are her points in slow progression to end-stage kidney disease, improves hypofiltration, reduces nitrogen waste, reduces renal workload, uh, reduces proteinuria by 20 to 50 percent. That's a big one. Okay, that's that's really the reason that you do this diet is to reduce the protein, reduce the inflammation, help that kidney function. Uh, improve lipids, improve glucose and hemoglobin, improves quality of life, reduces dietary acid load. Um, if you decide to do this diet, try to get some help, try to get some resources. Professional help is important. Okay, especially finding someone, nutritionist, dietitianist, who knows about this and knows how to utilize it. So that's what she talks about, really good stuff. Second is individualized mineral needs, talking about how you need to individualize potassium, sodium, phosphorus. No more blanket approaches. No more everybody should avoid potassium. Most people don't need to avoid potassium with kidney disease, and you're actually causing more harm because you're missing out on a lot of nutrients that you can use. So we need to individualize it. Um, that's the best way to go about it. No more blanket approaches. And most people, um, phosphorus too is a big issue. Okay, most people don't need uh, to restrict plant-based sources of protein if they're worried about the phosphorus because the phosphorus doesn't absorb. So a lot more we know. A lot has changed in the last couple of years. Gut health and kidney disease. We spoke, speak a lot about this in my videos about probiotics, prebiotics. If you have kidney issues you really, really should take some probiotics and prebiotics because the gut-kidney access, um, it's how the gut's related to kidney health. They're interrelated, okay? When the toxins build up, they're in the gut. Inflammation, all types of issues start developing there, leading to more complications. Uh, what else does she get into? Adequate vitamin intake. You need adequate vitamins and minerals, especially with kidney issues. If you're looking online, even by major organization is telling you how you don't need vitamins and all that. It's all not true. We know that there's always major issues with a lot of vitamins and minerals and kidney health, and you need to take proper supplementation. Uh, putting it all together, she talks about how to put this all together here, but those are just the key points. Great article if you want to read about it. Consider getting some professional help if you want to go about a low protein diet. If you have a professional you can see who knows about it, not all nutritious dietitians understand or know about low protein diets for kidney health. Uh, so something to look at, get some books. But to your best kidney health, things you can do here. Um, great article if you want to look it up. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.